there was once a king who was very arrogant and proud. He thought he was the best in everything, and looked down on everyone else. He did not care about his people or his kingdom. He only cared about his own glory and pleasure. He had a habit of challenging anyone who came to his court to a contest of his choice. He would always win, because he would cheat or use his power to intimidate his opponents. He would then mock and humiliate them, and make them pay a heavy price for losing. One day, a wise man came to his court. He was dressed in simple clothes and carried a staff. The king did not recognize him and thought he was a poor beggar. He decided to have some fun with him and challenged him to a contest. What can you do, old man? The king asked. Can you sing, dance, play chess or ride a horse? The wise man smiled and said, I can do none of those things. Your Majesty, but I can do something that you cannot do. The king was intrigued and curious, he asked, what is that? The wise man said, I can make you happy. The king laughed and said, that is impossible. I am already happy. I have everything I want. I have wealth, power, fame and beauty. What can you possibly give me that I do not have? The wise man said, You may have everything, but you do not have happiness. You are arrogant, selfish, cruel and unhappy. You do not know the true meaning of happiness. Happiness is not something that you can get from outside. It is something that you can only find within yourself. The king was angry and said, How dare you speak to me like that? You are a fool and a liar. You cannot make me happy. You are just trying to trick me and waste my time. The wise man said, If you do not believe me, then let us make a bet. I will give you three tasks to do. If you can complete them successfully, then I will admit that you are happy and I will leave your kingdom. But if you fail even one of them, then you will admit that you are unhappy and you will listen to my advice. The king agreed to the bet. He thought it would be easy to win and he wanted to teach the wise man a lesson. The wise man said, The first task is this, for one day. You must not get angry at anyone or anything. You must be calm and patient in every situation. The king thought this was simple and said, That is easy. I can do that. The next day, the king tried to follow the task, but he soon realized that it was not easy at all. He got angry at everything that happened around him. He got angry at his servants for being slow or clumsy. He got angry at his ministers for giving him bad news or advice. He got angry at his wife for nagging him or ignoring him. He got angry at his children for being noisy or disobedient. He could not control his anger and he shouted and scolded everyone who crossed his path. He even got angry at himself for being angry. He failed the first task miserably. The wise man came to him at the end of the day and said, You have failed the first task. You could not keep your anger in check for even one day. How can you be happy when you are always angry? The king was ashamed and said, You are right. I have failed the first task, but I still have to do more chances to prove myself. The wise man said, The second task is this, for one day. You must not lie to anyone or anything. You must be honest and truthful in every situation. The king thought this was easy and said, That is easy too. I can do that. The next day, the king tried to follow the task, but he soon realized that it was not easy either. He lied about everything that happened around him. He lied to his servants about his mood or his plans. He lied to his ministers about his policies or his intentions. He lied to his wife about his love or his affairs. He lied to his children about his care or his expectations. He could not stop lying and he deceived everyone who trusted him. 
He even lied to himself about his happiness. He failed the second task miserably. The wise man came to him at the end of the day and said, You have failed the second task too. You could not tell the truth for even one day. How can you be happy when you are always lying? The king was embarrassed and said, You will write again. I have failed the second task too, but I still have one more chance to prove myself. The wise man said, The third task is this, for one day. You must not be greedy for anything or anyone. You must be generous and content in every situation. The king thought this was easy and said, That is easy as well. I can do that. The next day, the king tried to follow the task, but he soon realized that it was not easy at all. He was greedy for everything that he saw or heard. He was greedy for more money, more power, more fame, and more beauty. He was greedy for other people's possessions, other people's talents, other people's wives, and other people's lives. He could not curb his greed, and he took everything that he wanted without regard for others. He even became greedy for the wise man's happiness. He failed the third task miserably. The wise man came to him at the end of the day and said, You have failed the third task as well. You could not be satisfied with what you have for even one day. How can you be happy when you are always greedy? The king was humbled and said, You are right once more. I have failed all three tasks. I am not happy at all. I am miserable and unhappy. Please forgive me and teach me how to be happy. The wise man smiled and said, You have finally realized your mistake and admitted your unhappiness. That is the first step towards happiness. Happiness is not something that you can get from outside. It is something that you can only find within yourself. To be happy, you must learn to be humble, kind, honest, and grateful. You must learn to respect yourself and others. You must learn to love yourself and others. You must learn to live in the present and enjoy every moment. You must learn to let go of your ego and attachments. You must learn to follow your heart and your intuition. The king listened to the wise man's words and felt a change. In his heart, he decided to follow his advice and change his ways. He became a better king and a better person. He started to care about his people and his kingdom. He started to treat everyone with respect and compassion. He started to share his wealth and power with others. He started to appreciate his wife and children. He started to be honest with himself and others. He found happiness within himself. Now see in life. Being arrogant leads to unhappiness and misery. Being humble leads to happiness and peace. Thank you for watching.